Hey everyone, so I just filmed a tutorial for this look. Um, it's featuring a new eyeshadow palette that I got um, from Ulta for free for my quarter worth of points. This is one of the Rimmel London Glam Eyes HD palettes. This one is an 08, double 08. Haha, <laughs> like 007, but it's 008. Um, and this is uh, True Union Jack. And I pretty much got this sp specific one um, exactly for the packaging, which is not a really good thing to buy anything for. But if you don't already know, I'm slightly obsessed with the um, Union Jack and all other things British. So yeah. I got this pair that looks like the flag, but um, yeah, I decided to try it out, and I really do like it, so if you'd like to see how I did this, uh, continue watching. So I'm using this uh, Glam Eyes from London HD palette. It looks like this. This is in the shade 08 True Union Jack. And I'm just using it how the back of the palette instructs. So first off, we're going to start with eyeshadow primer. Which would probably be a good idea if you want your shadows to stay all day. I'm just using Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, and always, if you miss something that I'm using, there will be a link in the description box down below to my blog where I will most likely usually have a list of all the products that I use. Um, I'm trying to be better about updating that. But yeah, I'm just using a flat shadow brush and the pink color from the palette. And I'm popping that all over the lid, making sure I'm still in the frame. I'm patting it onto the lid, actually. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm still just um, patting the pink on the lid. Um, the Red Cross called. They want blood. Anyway. Okay, now I'm going to take another flat shadow brush and using the white frosty shade, whoops, almost dropped my mirror, I'm just going to apply that under the brow bone. Please excuse this brush, it is a little dirty. Okay, then I'm going to take a fluffy shadow blender, crease brush, whatever, and taking the non shimmery blue. I'm going to apply that in the crease. There's a little diagram on the back of the palette that is marked, like tells you what number um, the shadows in the pan are and what their purpose is for, well, what the palette has them purposed for. You can always use them however you want. I'm just continuing to pick up that blue and then putting it in the crease until I'm satisfied with the amount of shadow in the crease. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to grab a stiffer, um, more dense brush and go in with the sparkly blue which is darker. I think I just got way too much on my brush, but we'll see. And focus this on the outer corner. There's a hair in my way. Um, yeah, so the outer corner. And then I'm just going to work on blending that in. Just 
you have way too much on my brush. I'm gonna grab the fluffier brush and blend this. And I'm going to pick up that flat shader brush I was using with the pink and just repat the lid a little bit. In the um, innermost, like, three-fourths of the lid. And then I'm going to actually even out this other eye. I'm going to take a little bit more of the darker blue and put it in this outer corner on this eye because the other eye is way darker than this one. And with my um, fatter blending brush, just so it looks somewhat even. Closer, I suppose. Okay. <clears throat> We're done with the shadows. For um, waterline eyeliner, I'm using a Rimmel London Scandalized Waterproof Cole Kajal Eyeliner. And this is in number 5 Nude. Uh, so like I said, I'm just tugging slightly on the skin and running this on the waterline. It just grosses you out. You can skip this step. Okay, so there is that. My eye is twitching. Um, I'm going to take the NYC Black Liquid Liner um, that I purchased and do the top lash line. So how I do this is I generally like rest my pinky finger on my um, cheek and then just run it along the lash line. Or sometimes I just freehand it. It all depends. And I have to thicken this like not to match the other eye where I got a little bit carried away. Hmm. Okay. So that's the liquid liner. Just like knocked it over. Um, and the last thing for the eyes is mascara. I actually didn't bring anything to fill my brows in with. I'm using the Benefit by Real Mascara. I'm really working it into the lashes. I'm trying not to make a complete mess of the rest of my face. You can use whatever mascara or eyeliner or whatever that you want. I'm getting a piece of my hair. And so that's the finished eyes. Uh, let me zoom you out a little bit. Okay, so, please excuse my nose, um, I thought I just got mascara all over my cheek, I didn't. Um, prior to filming, I did apply foundation and powder on my face. Oh, I didn't bring a lipstick either, wow. So I'm gonna take 
my uh, MAC 109, it's a contour brush. You could use whatever brush you wanted. And I'm taking the e.l.f. Um, this says that it's called the Blushed and Bronze Palette. <clears throat> or Duo, it's from the Studio line. It's the Contouring Blush and Bronzer. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's what I've been using for a mirror this whole time. And I'm going to take the blush shade, which is a little shimmery. And just apply that on the, the like, backs of the cheekbones. And bring it forward onto the apples. And I'm doing circular motions. Just sort of soften and blend as I go. I like my blush back here because I feel that it somewhat helps to thin out my face. So that's why I put it back there. But you may put your blush wherever you so choose on your face. I would just um, experiment to see what looks the best on your face or what you like the best and then just go with that. You don't have to conform to anyone else's opinions on makeup. Keep trying to blush my hair. Um, which is probably not a good idea. And then I'm going to take a <clears throat> the Real Techniques buffing brush. It's a larger flat top sort of brush. And dip it in the bronzer about twice because it is shimmery. And just sort of contour with that. You can make the fish face if you wish. I don't really need the fish face anymore. I just sort of know like where to contour. But if you would like to fish face, by all means, fish face. Or you can sort of pull one side of your um, mouth toward the other side of your face like I just sorted it. Yeah, so I'm just blending that in and then I'm gonna go back over a little bit circular motion to blend and that's it for the face and eyes and cheeks because I failed to grab a lipstick so let me see if I can grab one and I'll be right back okay I have grabbed my little tub thing of lipsticks these are my like current favorite lipsticks um, I think I'm going to go for the color Whisper in number 85. It's called Berry Ready. I did a blog post on these. It's sort of a dark, um, berry color, obviously. Hence the name. So that's the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any requests or anything, uh, let me know below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.